Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, Ira. Hello, hello, Roxy. Good to see you. Gundam time again. This I've actually had sitting around for a little while now. Just been waiting for a good time to make it, and here we are. Some stuff out of the way, so where I'm gonna put the box later. But yeah, uh, this is Choo Choo's Demi Trainer, owned by, you know, the best character in the fucking series. Like, Choo Choo is just great. Just, just wonderful. Oh, so fucking cool. But yeah, uh, while we are waiting for the final episode to air, which got delayed due to stuff. Ooh, thank you for the stretch, Aries. <laughs> and the hydrant is off. <laughs> Hi, Jasper, hon. While we are waiting for the final episode, which has been delayed on streaming by a day due to, like, cutoff dates and COVID bullshit. Beautiful, thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's make this. I am super excited. Especially because there's only three stickers. All right, so... Let's see what we got! Ba -da -da -ba. Get my stuff. There. And one, two, three. And nippers. There you go. So. It's a pretty simple kit overall from the looks of it. Not surprising since it's not like a main, like, main character kit. Hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, in here we got, uh, yeah. We have, here for realsies now, we have three total stickers. Thank God. Thank God the stickers on Ariel were hell. This is reparations. So, alright, we've got D1 over here. We've got B here. Then in here, ooh, we've got some nice multicolor stuff. Okay. Your top's so cute, one starts good. Yeah, I wanna I need to figure out where I got this so I can get another at some point because this one I just noticed today has like a tiny little hole in it, and I want another one of this because it's good and like look at how cute it makes my tummy look. Look at this. Oh. Also just look at how fucking cute my tummy is. Like, look at me. Very, very cute, yeah. And we've got C here, okay. A lot of bigger parts here, like, there's some real complex ones. Look at this. You're heckin' cute. <laughs> yeah. Then lastly, we got A over here. I do think it's cool how this one has, like, uh, how, like, Gucci's Demi Trainer only has like three fingered hands. That's neat. I appreciate it. Where's the f fucking cable actually? Um. Isn't there like supposed to. Um. Am I missing some? Fire. Uh, come up for Does it comes with a wire? Oh yes, it does. I just missed it. Here it is. Guys, Pokemon Center Night Center is like one of the coast tracks ever. It really is. Thank you for the hydrate, Jasper. <laughs> By the way, just to let y'all know, uh, if anyone redeems the tummy jiggles emote, it's not just gonna be on the model, okay? <laughs> but yeah, uh, we got a little tiny copper wire. For decoration. That'll be fun. Tummy jiggles. <laughs> so, first, let's get some jiggles over here. And then, more importantly, ah, beat me to it. <laughs> yeah, oh, I have such a good tummy. So, let's see. Okay, noises. <laughs> Yep, it, this is definitely, uh, yeah, this is definitely a witch kit, because, uh, 
the manual starts in full color. What? I'm, I'm confused and horny. <laughs> oh, what's up, Jasper? Didn't hear what you said. Um, yeah. Jasper, um, how, yeah. Tummy jiggles are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was thanking you for the hydrate. Yeah, after saying that, like, tummy jiggles are gonna be, uh, both model and on camera. Yeah. Love how loading Minecraft save file just chomps PC resources for a bit. Yep. Don't you love blocking IO? Yeah, uh. Any notable, like, little bits here? Where did the stickers come in, actually? Um. There's two of them. Okay, so two of them are on the rifle. Ah, and then one of them is on the body, yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, nice. Gun to my SMR. <laughs> huh. I am not sure how close I can get my mic while I've got all the Gundam stuff set up, but I'll do my best to do this for a bit. Let's pull up. Five minute timer. <laughs> there you go, Jasper, huh? Use the snips next to the mic. I guess that does show up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hopefully that wasn't too loud for y'all. Right? Yeah. Because <clears throat> this is a Gundam Witch Kit. It also tells you which sprues, yeah, which runners you're going to be using. So, starting off with A, B, and C, we're taking A1 and C9. That'll be a. It's a technique I've learned re at least kind of. Not sure how much I'll be doing it just because it's a hassle. The trick is that you cut it out with just a little, little bit of the sprue left. And then you sand that down to get it looking nice and smooth. Uses the marks. but not super much. Oh well. Also got A1. Little part over. There you go. <laughs> The first bit done. You like how they're going with just translucent. Makes it much nicer. Then, oh. Yeah, I'm afraid that won't. Definitely, yeah, that won't. Yeah be audible unless I get it under the pop filter. The hassle. Oops. 
So now that there are these little nubs on it, which, yeah, you can see. does work very nicely. Does actually end up looking very nice. I think I'm gonna hard stuff. There you go. I'm gonna try and make it perfect. You're all nice. That was seem full tummy. Oh, shower's got us really sleepy. Oh, <laughs> that's the five minutes on the ASMR mode. We might keep talking a bit, like no. Also a bit nicer on my vocal cords, which <clears throat> are just a bit scratchy. Haven't been drinking enough water. And you? Hadn't even noticed that ASMR voice. <laughs> yeah, then that goes in real nice. I do like how this is just like a layer, like... In, like, the series, you can tell this is just, like, a piece that goes over the normal Demi-Trainer -train visor. Then we are C, 25, 26, and 27. Okay. Those will be here. Six. There's still room to send those stress marks down. I could just put them and Twenty-seven, okay. I'm gonna trim off some of the excess just so that I don't have to do as much sanding. Yeah, then I can just last bit down. I hope that ASMR didn't get you too flustered, Jasper dear. <laughs> you did request it after all. I don't think I'm going to do it with the upside-down nippers. 
this one. Too much. I'm trying to sand it down. Back the rest of the parts. I'll just cut these posts. Now. Should be more careful, but I'm impatient. And just get more than I want to feel it's just and I will cut it. I'll give stress marks, but oh well. Now, what do I do with these? So, alright, so I take this and this part, the hinge, like this, okay. And part thing. There, so this puts, yeah, this locks this in as a hinge, then we put this on top, then we fold this over, ooh, then B19, oh, this is a complicated one, oh, Very carefully. Trying to get my nippers in the right place. Oh, oh, hello! Hello, Nick. Good to see you! Hope you're doing good. I haven't talked in ages. Sorry about that. Hard for me to keep up with folks a lot. I have to go to bed my mistake of checking into which rip. Yeah, get rest, okay? Need not talk to nature's yeah. Could hit you up sometime. I can stay up a few more minutes. Eh, if you wanna, but don't keep yourself up, okay? Sleep's really important. <laughs> real nice okay and we put the blade antenna on have a kind of date tomorrow today Ooh, have fun yeah i hope you enjoy it yeah uh here we've got the head yay still a couple bits on this that i'm just not quite happy with I'm just gonna flip it out One big follicle line was hard to tell it today when it's just hanging out with cucumbers to have a crush on. Yeah, I mean, hanging out is a date. I definitely think of it as a date. Fun, it's cozy, it's gay. Yeah, that one's in there, but oh well, not as good as I can. 
Yeah, that is. That is him, as far as it goes. Okay. Yeah, there. That's the head for Choo Choo's Demi Trainer. Yay! So up next is Torso. Yeah, upper Torso. A, B, and C again. 18, 19, 22. Let me check. So, all right, yeah, it is all polystyrene. Okay. Last time I saw her, I was ill and made out and she caught me cold. And she would do it again. Yeah, that's gay. <laughs> Incredibly gay. Ah. Oh, 18, 19, and 22, and then it's sticker time. Okay. You're fucking cute pet. So are you, Jasper, hun. <laughs> right. Here. Then this shouldn't have as many issues with like the arm posing stuff as Ariel did because it doesn't have like the bits on top that keep popping out. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty-two. Okay, we're here. Let's get sanding. That'll go, okay. I also might need new sanding sticks. These ones are starting to get a bit worn down. I've used them a lot, so I'm not surprised. Just... <sighs> That's good. Yeah, that one's just on, yeah. Tiny enough. Ah. Oh yeah, the new anime season has begun. And uh, there's a few shows I've watched so far. So... Irma is still going on. I'm still watching that because, you know, Irma is the best and is great and amazing and you should watch it. Um, what other stuff have I been watching? Um, let me pull up MAL real quick just to see what stuff there is, um, that at least I've seen so far. So... Bofuri Season 2 is starting up in, like, 10 days now. Nice. Okay. Near Automata started up today, and it's looking a bit jank, but pretty good. Yeah, like, just, I love the, I love the post credits. Well, right? a year now, pretty much since started HRT, leaned hard into blue-haired cat girl. Downside, people quip out me about, at me about blue-haired pronouns. Rip. 
but yeah, uh, I don't really watch anime. I've kind of stopped watching Gundam Witch. Uh, that's understandable. Yeah, it is. Been, yeah, keeping up with anime is really hard. Hell, I have trouble with it most of the time. I'm just watching Gundam Witch still because gay. Yeah. Um, we've got Tomochan is a girl, which, see, which is funnier than it should be allowed to be. So we'll see how that goes. Um, what else have I been watching? Uh, yeah, Mag Magical Revolution started up, and that's a really good series. Definitely watching that. You should watch it. Brigham Stampede aired today, but I have not, um, actually started watching it. Yeah, just... Wait, no. When is Bofri... Um... Oh, no. Uh... Yeah, Bofri starts up on Tuesday, actually. Okay, but yeah. Um... Yeah, Magical Revolution is good. Um, Tomachan is a girl is funnier than it should be allowed to be. Um, Technoroid Overmind is trying out the, uh, yeah, is trying out the revolutionary new, uh, technique of making all the main characters robots so the dialogue, so the dialogue can be as dog shit as humanly possible. It's not something I think I'll be keeping up with. It's, it's, it's idol boy stuff with Maybe a twist? We'll have to see. I'm... I'll give it two more episodes to see where it goes. Kind of stopped years ago. Manga's good, though, and I can read at whatever speed my brain goes at, and I can get distracting and continue reading with AD. Just making write code. Particularly me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do mostly read manga. Like, just most of the, like, new series I get into are manga, unless they're anime originals or something. Or something I wouldn't usually read. Yeah, um... Oh... Boy, I have to talk about owning my now, don't I? Um... I wish everyone... I wish every single person at Studio Bind a very fucking stop. Just stop it. Get some help. Onimai is, yeah, don't have to talk about it. Yeah, what shows this? Um, this is Onimai, or Onichan wa Oshimai, or such. Um, uh, why did they make the adaptation so horny? Why are they making it so horny? Why? Just why? This is completely unnecessary. Ah. Uh. There is still, uh, like, a little bit of goodness in it, because the original premise is still the same, like, lost time fan- like, lost time wish fulfillment, but... Come on, Studio Bind. What's the translated title? The translated title is Onimai, I'm Now Your Sister. I was going- I was going into this anime season- expecting to recommend it with heavy caveats to a specific type of person. Now I'm not sure I can- I feel comfy recommending it to anyone. It's just- just, like, the manga is fine if you have the exact type of- of transgender trauma and, uh, a high tolerance for bullshit. I don't think I can recommend the anime. How do you go? Yes, sir. Right. No, those are only like standard up. They can go in, yeah. And read it, yeah. Uh, you can find the um, you can find the manga like just most places. You read like uh fan translated stuff. I'm not sure if it's got an official English. Yeah, um, other series, so, uh, 
I haven't, yeah, there were some new ones that came out like yesterday and today that I haven't gotten around to watching yet. There's like, yeah, Trigun Stampede started up. I haven't gotten around to watching that. I'm hearing disappointed things from fans of Trigun. Yeah, uh, what else? So, yeah. There's this one that I've heard is actually really interesting where it is a, yeah, it's title, like, it's short title is Endo and Kobayashi Live, which uh, I've heard is actually an interesting concept of, it is one of those, like, uh, trying to get the, um, trying to save the villainess, uh, in an Atoma game series, but, um, the, yeah, but the twist is that it is actually two people playing the game and, um, like, in, like, the real world and commentating over it and their reactions being heard by one of the main characters, which I think that's an interesting gimmick. Like, that's neat. Hopefully it ends up well. <laughs> Yeah, like, I think I will might give it a watch. Now see 21. Yeah, um... Yeah, then, like, the last, like, series I've started watching so far is, uh, Near Automata, because, you know, uh, it's time for Yokotaro's Wild Ride. And what a wild ride it is! Uh... I think they've made some really good decisions with it with like just making all the yeah making the joke endings into uh into like post credit scenes and such i think that's a cool one um other yeah things about it yeah like just the visuals can be a bit jank at times but like it's near automata it, that's what you that's what you expect with near games honestly like just they're gonna be a bit jank because the visuals aren't as important as the story. Yeah, uh... Yeah, no, it's gonna be a good series. I can already tell just, like... They've got, like, the... Like, the game VAs for 2B and 9S, and that means that... They already know the characters and they're playing them, like... Exactly how you'd expect. Yeah. How does this go in? Huh? Oh, ooh. Oh, that's an interesting one, actually, yeah. Yeah, this, like, this part goes in here, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, like, Nier Automata anime is, um, if you appreciate, like, if you're willing to appreciate it for what it is, I think you're gonna really enjoy it. But it's not going to be the best looking anime ever because we've already got Gundam Witch <laughs> and Do It Yourself from last season too was also. Okay, um. Any other interesting things that I'm looking at? Like, that are going to start airing soon? Oh yeah, um. Monday's going to be interesting. There are Two, looking at an interesting thing. Oh, yeah, do tell while I talk about this. Uh, there are two separate gender swap series uh, starting on Monday. Ew, oh, <laughs> that's gay. Yeah, um, there are two gender swap series starting on Monday. One of them is perfectly unobjectionable. It's just like standard reincarnation fantasy isekai fair. The other is by Kentaro Yabuki. Oh god. Oh, Ayakashi Triangle is gonna be a trash fire. Who's Studio Connect? Um, what have they done? Um, Break the Blood... A lot more strike the blood and slow loop I heard is pretty good. Um 
I did fucking a rescue. Oh god. Oh boy. Yeah. No. This ad. This is really gonna be something. Oh, this is gonna be something. But yeah. Uh. We'll see what happens with that. Anything else I'm looking at? Um. Not really. Oh, apparently, um, the new Great Cure series is starting in February. Interesting. Nothing. Oh, yeah, there's, like, the new, like, uh, yeah, like, there's more Irma, of course. Ash's fine, like, Ash's final 11 or so episodes as the Pokemon protagonist are coming. Uh... Got new way the house has been animated manga. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a pretty empty season, all things considered. Just a lot of stuff that's just eh. It's it's just it's fine, but like just after what a banger of a season fall was i it just can't compare it cannot compare probably does off to your cute voice well thank you i hope you rest well ah and also like luckily spring is looking incredible like we got more dr stone we got season two of ancient magus's bride got more king's ranking which i really need to see um We've got fucking, uh, like, we've got Wada Yuri coming. We've got Gundam Witch Season 2. We've got Birdie Wing Season 2. Oh. Yeah, no. Spring is packed. I'm hyped. Ancient My Surprise is so lovely, yeah. It's not the best, but it's just, it is like, like, there are some things I'm less than happy with in it, but no, it is just a... It's, the show is beautiful, the world building is just so delicate and carefully done. It's good. Yeah, no, uh... Spring is gonna kick ass. Spring is absolutely gonna kick ass. Okay, um... Anyway, robots. 223. Yeah. And I am so excited for the Gundam Witch finale. That's gonna happen. Like, just. That's gonna drop, um. Like. A day later for. Like. A day later for streaming. Just due to some weird stuff with contracts and deadlines and. A COVID breakout in the production office. Yeah, it's still airing, like, on TV at the same time it, like, on the same day it normally does because, uh, TBS's, like, master deadline isn't as tight as it is for streaming services. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, Gundam Witch is just fantastic. If you have not been watching it, uh, you should go watch it because it is the best Yuri anime we have gotten since Utena. Just in terms of, like, production value and quality. Like, not caught up, but it's really good. Yeah, like, just in, like, if the only thing you care about with anime is how it looks. Gundam Witch is the best looking Yuri anime made in ages. It's beautifully done. Like, it's got, like, just the fact that all the mecha fights are 2D is just 
holy shit. Like, the fact that they're not using, uh, like, the fact that it's not using 3D models for the mechas as well. I was a little worried it was gonna be, yeah, it wasn't gonna be that gay, but it was, they weren't engaged in episode one! The robot fights are gorgeous, yeah. It's just like, like, how can it, you know, like, just, like, it kicked Korra's ass in gayness in the first episode. Just, Korra has nothing on Gundam Witch. Uh, alright, uh, that is the whole torso done for now. Oh, wait, no, there's one more part. Alright, B116 and 17. Hi! Oh, uh, I got to do a sticker. I forgot to do a stickering. Luckily, it's not been obscured or anything, so it's all good. Where are my tweets? Here they are. Oh, this stickering is gonna suck. I've done worse. I've made Ariel. Yeah, no, that kind of just went, uh, perfectly? Yeah, no, that kind of just went, like, completely perfectly, yeah. Wow, okay. Nice. Alright, so, A3. Getting, yeah, cutting at the right point to minimize both standing and stress marks is difficult, but I can do it. I'm good at this. Yeah, Gundam Witch, fantastic. Like... Not only just a really good mecha show, but just a really good Yuri series as well. Yeah, you know, like just, it's got like, it's got it all. It's got like, it's got cool mecha fights. It's got anti-capitalism. It's got gays. It has, it has fucking choo-choo in it, which, uh... Man, Choo Choo's great. I really want to do a Choo Choo cosplay at some con at some point. Once, like, just cons get their head out of their ass and actually have some COVID safety. Yeah, no, like, just... I want to do a Choo Choo cosplay just carrying around, like, Choo Choo's demi-trainer. F. Oh well. Good enough. Good enough. I don't think I'm gonna panel line this one just because I've realized I don't really like how panel lining works. Or how panel lining looks. It's just a, like, if I had, like, better, co like, better colors for it, I might do it, but they're just a bit too garish for me right now. I also just get better, like, panel lining markers at some point. Okay. 
Okay, that one popped off clean. Good. I can't talk about it on stream. You should check your DMs when you get the chance. Ooh. <laughs> Let me just get these last two parts on then. I'm gonna take a quick break and I'll look at it then. Pattern. Bad. That's good. That's good. Then you go up here. Oh, yeah, no, that sticker was perfect. That's good. That's real good. Then last one for the torso is 17. Okay. Ah. Okay, post nasal drip. Having it for a while now, and it just sucks. Right. I'm going to Nicely. Aha! And there you have it. There you got the head and torso. Hell yeah! Raise up a bit to look up and down all around. Yeah, no. Uh, That is... Looking really good for the first bit. So, after this, I am going to move on to doing the arms. I am going to do the arms one at a time because they are different for each one. But that'll happen when I get back from break. So see you in just a minute.
And I'm back, but still is pro Oh, yeah, I just, fi yeah, I fixed those during the break. Nikki, thank you for letting me know. Yeah, I've got, like, just my links updated and fixed. I keep forgetting those panels exist all the time. <laughs> yeah, uh. Okay, so, now that we've got these, we've got, like, the head and torso. Time for the arms. All right, so this is gonna take all four sprues. Okay. So... Alright, A, 6 and 8 to start. Alright, so 6 and 8. That one's good. Okay. It's, I think this one. Carefully. Ooh, thank you for the hydrate and tummy jiggle, sorry. First up, let's get these tummy jiggles. <laughs> and then, then, there's some tummy jiggles for you. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed them. Give Lem a compliment saying you're pretty and quite nice to listen to. Well, thank you. Yeah. I'm getting happier with my voice. I'm still not 100%, but I'm like 80, 85. Being very careful with it. Your voice is very cute, very soft and comforting. Thank you. Yeah. I want to be more talkative, but it's a bit difficult when I'm not just 100% there. Also just because my mind doesn't really run fast enough, but that's something I want to work on this year. Voice is pretty adorable with this into longer. Oh, thank you, Nikki. <laughs>
Want to do voice training but hard to get started. Yeah, it's tough. This and we got a similar arm to yeah, similar arm mechanism to Ariel it looks. That one just All I can do is me adorable. Well, I mean that is adorable. Mm-hmm. Unk the pleading face usually very effective. <laughs> it would be. Hello, little treasure. Welcome in. Welcome in. Good to see ya. I'm making a robot. Very cool robot owned by one of the coolest people in space. Choo Choo. Ah, oh, God. Choo Choo's great. Just, ah, oh, so fucking good. How do you go on so? Do like this, like this. Tightly fit as far as the parts will go. There, all right. Got an arm. All right, then A number 12. Number 12. God, it's leaving so much to us that it's honestly kind of funny. Right? Yeah, this one's not going to clean up pretty at all, sadly. Oh, that actually... Thing like the... Extra bits off actually help, yeah. This one... Alright, there. So, what do you go on? Uh, like this? Yeah, alright, so just a drop cover, okay. And double checking. Yeah, that's right, okay. Then C12 and 13. Uh, C. Twelve and thirteen, okay. There. Trying to get oriented in a good way to a nice cut on this it's difficult there okay and time to sand
this shade of gray is like the worst to stand because it like because anywhere you stand wrong becomes visibly lighter and also the stress marks are super visible in it too These go together, okay. And then they just... But uh. click! Alright, and uh, the arm's now got a handle, okay. Yeah, that's neat. I do really like the look of that. Then a 17, okay. Ooh, two of them, okay. Well, they're arm parts, so I'm not exactly surprised. Good. So, you go. You like this? The clip goes. Yeah. Okay. A hey, hey, fifteen and sixteen. What? Because these are white parts. The stress marks won't be anyone. On there. Huh? Thank you. Alright, there. These just go together? Yep. And then we do A14 and B10. A14. I think another issue I've been having with the parts over on A is that, like, the gates are super fucking thick. Like, look at these. Like, look at these gates. They're almost as thick as I am. Well, hi, Liam. Good to see ya. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm having... Yeah, I am building Choo Choo's Demi Trainer right now, and it's actually going pretty well. Uh, here's what I've got so far. I'm starting work on the arms. Yeah, 
that home. Jasper, redeem, give, Lemma gives you a compliment. Jasper, you are one of the sweetest and most adorable people I know, and I have so much fun whenever you're on call, just chatting with you, like, having fun, playing games with you, teasing you, of course. You're just a delight to be around. Then you like this one? Yeah, just all around then. Um so. this? All right. Oh, it snaps and then it can rotate, okay. Okay. Yeah, they've also laid out the instructions a lot better on these new ones, so they're just a lot easier to only have a couple pages open at a time. Then, okay, um, this is going to be, oh, there are two options. We got options. All right, so A10, B15, or D1, 9, and 11. All right, so that's for closed or open. I'll do closed fist. Yeah, I'll make both of them. That's what I usually do. Yeah. Yeah, just for a sprue because cutting parts out of it sucks. I'm just gonna, like pull them out. So then, B fifteen. These. Uh, it's been a while since I actually put like this much like focus into like the standing and care such for kits and it's nice doing it just because this is not as long or complex a kit as like aerial or such yeah so here's the close hand one. Oh, it goes together interesting too yeah uh Then oh, something clicked, okay. Yeah, um, then A eighteen. 18. Oh, that's fine. I'll need it soon. Here, just gonna go over here for now.
right, then... Alright, so that's one arm done, and I'm also going to quickly do the D1, 9, and 11. Weird that it's got, like, a different... Oh, actually, I think I could, if I wanted to, swap out, like, just which of the colors I use for the hand. Um, let me take a look at... Yeah, you can... Yeah, like just it displays like yeah some of them yeah it displays using the um yeah the green like hand backings for the open hand as well uh over here yeah you can just do either yeah ah. i think i am gonna do both closed hands because then that lets me do cooler things with the weaponry and such. But I might do, like, open hand for the other one. We'll see once we get to it. Either way, I've confirmed they're compatible, and that's what's important. I'm kidding. I'm hitting some parts I don't mean to of it. Yeah. I wish these. I kind of wish I got like the smaller sanding sticks for like smaller areas and such, but oh well. Ah. Then 11. Oh, nice some uh, bigger gates on it too, but that actually came off real nice. Are you using that file for your nails? No, that's for parts. <laughs> yeah, no, that is for the parts to smooth them down and make them look nicer. The other thing I really wish is that, like, the edges of them had, like, sandpaper on them. Yeah. There. That's one open hand. In the box it goes. Yeah, I wish I had, like, a better way to set up the camera, like, right above where I'm working instead of, like, on my computer. But I just don't have, like, the setup room or equipment for it, which kind of sucks. All right. Left arm. A7 and A9. There. And yeah, those came out kind of closely. Especially because they're not, like, going to be visible or anything. Yeah, uh, make sure I'm putting it in the right way. There. And number 12. Oops. Some text that I'm going to want to look at in just a second, but that's just your self-interest and not because the like super important or anything. Yeah.
Yeah, this is gonna just have more stress marks. Oh well. Thank you for the stretchy. <laughs> Right, B11, B12. Oh, thank you. Uh, da, da, ba. 11, 12. But they do cut nicely, which is very good. I wonder what actually determines gate thickness like that. Hmm. Yeah, I am. And what about it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Or I won't because, you know, I'm hot. Man, people really do get jealous over how fucking hot I am, huh? Like, look at this fucking thing. I'm the fucking cutest. Like, y'all are just jealous your belly isn't as good as mine. <laughs> like, just... <sighs> ah... It is hilarious whenever people try to say, yeah. It is hilarious whenever people try to, like, call me fat as an insult. Like, that's not something I like about myself. Like, being chubby is the best. True, you are in fact the cutest. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mimic Deer. Oh. Also, like, if they stop to think that maybe there's some reason you chose to try out stuff with the model who's fat, yeah. No idea if there's probably an answer to this before, but, uh, how the circuits on the tummy come to be? Um, real, uh, that's why they call it a circuit board. <laughs> yeah. Board with, yeah, board with circuits on it. But yeah, uh, yeah, to clarify, Liv, uh, are you asking, like, uh, lore-wise, or, like, just how, like, or, like, how I actually decided for those to go on the model. Because, like, I do kind of have answers for both. Definitely have an answer for how they, like, got into the design. I can make up a lore answer on the spot. <laughs> yeah, uh... Yeah. Not sure either one would be fun, yeah. Uh the reason that they've yeah, all all traces to test points. <laughs> yeah, uh you can poke them, yeah. Uh the reason that this model has that like I've got like the circuit stretch marks now is because of a piece of art by the amazing, wonderful, absolutely incredible daft patients. They um, like just 
I got a Art of Lemo a while back from him, which I'm not 100% sure it's okay to show on stream just because it is not the most clothed, but it was really good and, like, just they came up with the idea of Lemma's stretch marks being circuit traces and it was such a complete and utter fucking genius idea that I decided pretty much then and there that it was canon. <sighs> yeah. Who did the art? Um, let me... Yeah, let me grab their Twitter. Oop, sorry about my mic. Boom! Yeah, no, Daft Patience, it does just incredible art. I need to get art from them again real soon, TBH. They're just so fucking good it's just incredible shout outs to them for just being great you yeah, know like just like ugh, it's just amazing also because i have really fucking cute stretch marks like just adorable stretch marks they're great number 10 Where is that? It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, it turns out like just... It's just the best idea I've ever seen for a robot ever it it was just perfect in every way and so I decided yeah no this is it Man, these are hard to man. I'm just gonna trim those a bit just because I can't be asked. Then click. Then take the A17 again. Right, yeah, I do have the 16 that popped out. Right, I've got to remember that because I'm it uh, next step actually and you like this Oop. there all right then take this comes on then you did a sanding there and number 15. Together real nice. And 14. Goes around them. <laughs> I'm still thinking about those fucking pathetic losers who thought that calling me fat would be an insult instead of uh, the highest compliment. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm cute as... Yeah, like, I'm fat and I'm cute as shit. Ah, 
I should get some more mods at some point, Jude, and... Yeah. Ah. Oh. Thank you for the hydrate, Lilith. Yeah. Jude and Non have their own streams and such. But yeah. So then, just click. I love when parts click into place and just work smoothly. It's so sad. All right. So now we do the hands again. So B1, 9, and 10, then A1, 11, and 15. And be and but I can get it dealt with. Alright, then we get next, um, then A1, A11, B15, okay. A11. There. And... Oh, shit. I forgot to clean this one. Oh yeah, that, they're luckily not too hard to pull off. It is, they have gotten a lot better since the fucking, uh, lo fucking Gundam Love Phantom. What a crash fire of a kit. I love it, it looks cool, but... God! Whoever was putting the CADs together really fucking phoned it in.
There, okay. Now. Clip. Then. Click. Yep, you're. A18. Yeah, hello, it's Craven. Good to see ya. There. And that. I. On correct. Oh. Not quite it. I also need a uh, B20. Yeah. Right, so. Like this. Yeah, getting this lined up correctly. Yeah, um, then I need to be money, and that should be it. So, at least for this part, oh, B20 is a Big one, look at this. Uh -uh. Ah. It. Nice and polished up. I can't. Then you just pop on here. Yeah. Then. Set up. And. Set up. We got ourselves a torso. Making sure I've got everything. That, and that, then that. Yeah. Yeah, we have got ourselves the upper half of a demi trainer. I am going to take a quick little stretch break and just like checking up on messages but i will be back in just a minute see you then
and I'm back. Okay, leg time. So, all right, we are not gonna need D1 for now. I think, yeah, I think everything left on this is for the rifle. Yeah, looking at it, yeah, definitely. Like, these look rifly. These look really rifly. So, we don't need them. We don't need them. But we do need B21, C7, and C8. Well, I'm, well, I'm a back. <laughs> hey. 21? 21, okay. I am noticing that this is just like the second half of B. It starts at 10. Probably because, you know, uh, it's based off the Demi Trainer, so they're reusing sprues. As they should. All right, C, seven, and eight. Seven. Hey. Whoa! That just went off into infinity. F. Okay, so now... Oh wait, no, it just landed in my lap. <laughs> Standing time! Looking at it, these aren't going to be super visible, but... There we go. All the way down. Almost there. Then, oh, for you, okay. How do we do? Yeah. This is interesting, probably for you actually. Real smooth. Because this is a mechanism part, it will be involved in something. So yeah, like, shit. yeah, like just this little tiny piece here is go going in this slot and will be expected to slide. And yeah, that's a real nice fit now. Okay. Trying to figure out the best way to get this together. Just... Hey. Other way. And go on top. 
there. Finally, okay. Yeah, now you can see like this little bit can slide along. That's neat. Ah. I'm noticing that my like but uh, Yeah, like my like facial expressions are not as sensitive as I feel they should be, so I'm gonna tinker with that a bit after stream, I think. Ah. I completely forgot to sand the outside. Oh well. Not too hard. Alright. Then we flip you over, and we still only need like one unfold done because, you know, this is a good kit. <laughs> And like the instructions are written with care and attention to detail. All right, so uh, this next two, yeah. All right, um, this. All right, yeah. This part is X two. So just uh, do that again real quick. So seven and eight. And because I know these are internal parts, what matters is the tolerance uh, more than the visuals, so... I'm not gonna spend as much time, I get much time sanding, I'm just that closer. That's a nice sliding up. Then the other B twenty. Nice and cleaned up. Standing in multiple directions for maximum evenness. There we go. All right. So with these, now we move on to, all right, B13 and A21 and 31. Two of each. <clears throat> all right. Twenty-one thirty-one on A. All right. Twenty-one. 
just this out. And 31. There. Okay. So these want to be sanded. Right. Stronger one. There. That did the trick, okay. Yeah, even just a couple licks with this one really just does it sometimes. Okay, it's rough grit sandpaper is not to be trifled with. Looks like it has the same leg attachment style thing as... Oh, yeah, it does, as Ariel. Okay. Guess it's just like the new leg style they're doing for this line. Neat. <clears throat> ah, fucking phlegm. You. Okay. You go in here. And you go in here. Then you go here, go here, then B14, 20, and 23, and C11. Oh, we are uh, almost done with B. Like, yeah, like, there's one part left on B, and uh, we're going to be using it next step, so... Yeah, almost done. Here's what well. there. Now with these cut out, I'm gonna do the sanding on them. Just so I don't forget. There.
bit more. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, that one just got obliterated right away. Here you go. There, okay. Those three, then we also need C11s. Squeezers, you can go over there for now. Number 11, up here. Alright, that one's already just... Shit! Just a second. Uh. Um. Fuck. Where? Shit. Uh. Far away. Oh boy. I can't find it. Uh, Keep looking for, for I guess, but... That went off into fucking infinity. That part is gone. Ugh. Damn it. Of course the one. Microscopic one. Ugh. Uh, I don't know what to do about that, y'all. Um, uh, yeah, shit. Uh, Of course it had to be one of the gray ones too, because can't have anything good here. Um I'm gonna close out V2 Turn on my phone flashlight to see if that'll help me at all. Ah. Uh. I really do need to clean up around. After like a my desk here for one absurdly tiny part. Uh. At least not 
like part that other parts looks. So I should be able like it won't stop me from able to build or of Well, shit. Ah. Ah. Oh, I found it! I found it! Yes! Ah! <clears throat> Evening saved! I found it! Ah! Let me get this back in. Streaming mode on, all right. Ah. Then I can show the camera again. This fucking thing, this tiny piece of shit, just disappeared. I am so glad I found it. Just like the heel for one of, yeah, for. Which part that fell off? Yeah, uh, okay, so, um, yeah, which way do you go on? I am putting them into place so they cannot get lost. There, okay. Yeah, it just goes in as, like, the heel that's also, like, a rolling wheel or something. Yeah, uh. Yeah, now. Without further ado, because I've already spent long enough on these parts due to that whole disaster. We got feet! Yay! I do love how, like, there's wheels in the back of the feet. That is... That's cool. It's got fucking built-in heelys. Choo Choo Step Me Trainer is heelys. I love it. Okay, what now? Ah. Alright, um, C6 is the only part from C that we need for this one. And this is a thoroughly internal part, so... There. Those are good. Then I can put you to the side for a minute. Then I need... B22, which is actually the last part on this sheet. So let's get that done. There, okay. Those are out, and 
I'm just gonna end them now. Gates that are just on the edge of like a large flat section like this, or on the end of it, are they just kind of suck because you can't get them flush without risking scraping up your parts something bad. Oh well. Yeah, this ending six is very close to used up. I'm definitely going to get some of the mini sanding sticks next time, just because uh, they'll have more, like, you know, like, just, I can get them in, like, smaller places. There you go. At least as far as I'm getting with it. And 28 and 33 from A. Okay. 28, all right. That snapped out real nice, okay. How did that? Oh, that's actually, those were actually pretty clean. Good of stress marking though. Yeah, no, that was clean. Okay. And 33. 33, okay. Internal piece. Alright, then. Throw them all together, so... I take this because it's the one where the direction's important. Do the, nope. Oh, there is an order actually. Okay. You get out of there. All right. So first, you take this. Turn around like this. Make it go in the only way it can. Because, you know, good at making these. Then, you take this, and you put it on like that. Okay, that's a leg. Then, you do the whole song and dance again. Peace. 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 There, all right, and there you go. Now you just plop them on, plop them on. And what do you got there but a lower leg? And now, fun begins because I'm to put on the side of pieces. Ah. Ah, hmm. The way this bends is a bit weird, but this is just lower leg, so. Alright, then we take 
a 20 and 23, so... No, 20, 22, and 23, so... That'll be over here. Yep. 22. And 23, which are weird complex ones. Look at these. Come out real nice, though, so... Not complaining. Okay. Now, take this. This way, okay. And... it in in the way that makes sense get the stuff lined up and it'll usually work which is really good because you know not all model kits are like that yeah like just it won't go in the other way which is good like just it's surprising how uncommon that is for yeah you know, like for snap fit model kits is like actually like being well designed see there it's in like I feel like I could take these apart if I needed to if I I realized I did something wrong. Thank you for the work, Sira. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh... <laughs> and... Thank you. Yeah, um, now with these, I'm pretty sure I've got correct. Yeah. Yep, all right. Now these don't go on, or yeah, these go on now because we're splitting between left and right leg. So, click, then bend you back to put on A32. And redeem let me give you a compliment. Yeah. Era, you are always just fun to like you're fun to tease and also just fun to have in chat hanging out. Like it's just always nice to say, Oh hey, Era's here. Good to see you. Like you're just someone who is nice to have around, you know? <laughs> uh so bend backwards. Put on. Okay, there. That's a leg. Bit tight there, but oh well. Fine. Okay, then uh, you do C14 and 15. <laughs> well, you're nice to have around. 14 and 15. Da -da -da. I think I will, like, uh, at least click. There. So that 
14, then also 15. Yep. Then standing. This is important, just a sec. Oh, this one is real stubborn. There it goes, yeah. I'll take it. Julie, don't have good... Sierra, good to have you here. Say this is the leg I'm working on. Oop, make sure they line up nice. All right. Get it nice. Up. Oh, this goes out like that, which I do like these in the front. They are cool. Like. These little bits at the front of the leg. That's neat. Then, right. Next is A24. Six, okay. So, back over to A. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, B is empty. Get out of here. 24, 26. Okay. Not gonna be really visible. Pull them out. Might do a bit of work, but there. You like this? Gonna like this? The way that makes sense. And 29. We are really getting down to the end of it. Like, just we've got one, two, three, four, five, six left here. And then the rest are just the rifle. So, yeah, I'm almost done. Yay. In you go. Whoa. Caught it. Thank God. Ah. And you go on like this. Oh no. Uh this. The way that makes sense. And lastly, we've got this thing which slide up and down. Oh, this is real nice, like... Let me see if you can hear it. It's kind of coming across, but I think that was mostly just mic noise, yeah. Yeah, no. That's neat. I like it. 
Hey! Other leg! So, now we get 32. Bend you back. On you go. There. Okay. Then C sixteen seventeen. Oh yeah, there is also like the backpack that needs to be done, so that'll be it. Right. Seventeen. I'll put that in sand. Too much. Almost there. Or if I'm not talking as much, just talking this long does make my throat hurt a bit. Have some more water. Or... Ah! There, that's helped. Then go over to these ones. So now, better, okay, you, here, you, go here, there, and we get the other parts out of A for this, so I'll be 25, 7, off, put them together. And then number thirty. Go so, on. Uh, Facing left ways, you go on here. Okay, we've got legs. Hell yeah. What next? Okay, waste in A and C. So C24. All right, very much. Yeah internal parts so. there yep. there a4 and a13 13. Leo 
out of part numbers kind of weird here, but oh well. Here, yeah. I was so this okay that's better yeah that actually goes on that's how you can tell it's supposed to be there right a 90 a 5 and if I'm not mistaken that's Cleaned out, yeah. There is nothing else left on this one, yay. First, go like this. Don't click in. Like this. You, over. But there will be a gap, okay. Yeah, alright. So gap is expected, but yeah. That's on right. Yeah, there is just a bit of a gap in there, but oh well. Then uh C twenty and here. Ending carefully. This is really awkward to sand. Win. Not super picky. As they feel like they should. Yeah. Then, take the legs. Make sure you've got everything the right way around. And click. Oop. Like that. You need to go in. And you there. You. This in this part. I don't get why it gets loose there suddenly.
Oh, do I have it in wrong? Oh, I think... Oh, yeah, no, it was not nearly in hard. Oh, I'm... That's because I'm putting it on the wrong one. I do think they should make them different sizes. I am not a professional mecha designer. Yeah, that... Oh, it clicks. Okay. Yeah, there's the click I needed. Much better. Alright, and... Now that you got those... And we got ourselves a custom Demi-Trainer! Not quite done. We've still got, like, the backpack and weapon, but... Also, you... Yeah, uh... Looking pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. I do think that, like, the new, like, foot style they've got makes them a bit harder to balance, but that is, like, part of why they are, yeah, they say with every kit, hey, put this on a stand because, you know, it'll be better, it'll stay up better. Should get more stands, TBH. Yeah. Move, then the waist can adjust if you want it to, yeah. And now, weapons time and backpack. So C, four and five. Yeah, those just came out real nice. Okay. Just put them together. All right, we'll need one, two, and two, which is already kind of just out. Okay. All right, so like this, then that one and three and what do you know that sheet's done like, that's all done yeah this together this goes on that backpack just goes on like that there's a nice little port for the hose to the gun okay and speaking of gun time oh. e three five and six All right. Six. Yeah, that got oh, so much more noticeable. Mark shit, I should have that out. Oh well. It's fine. There's not much I'll be able to do with that to make it look better. Yeah. That was just Yeah, look at that like big white mark you now that's not gonna look 
I'm once again requesting a check DM soon again. Okay, hon. Yeah. I'll be done with stream sooner, so I'll do it after that. 1, 14, 15. Gonna take the time to sneak. Because it looks like just a bit more temperamental. D1-4 as well, okay. Ah, you go up. Okay. And oops, you won seven and eight. these parts are what we use the other two stickers for. Really should get some hobby tweezers at some point. And that one in perfect, okay. you down and there we've got two very nicely done stickers and I don't have to do any more thank fucking god that ah, okay Also, 19. Just. One and two. 17 and 18. There. There. Ooh. Ah, there. So, how do you go? Okay. Ah, I see.
Uh, yeah. All right. Yes, okay. Yeah, this is just set up to go out to the side, which is interesting. This is a very complex gun. Ah, okay. I am just... Let's see. Might swap out hands. All right, so then we do 12 and 13, which are the last pieces in... There is one more, yeah. Two go together. Or... Sixteen. Then. There. And that is one wacky gun. This is cool. Yep. So. Then. Whoa. Bump my mic. Sorry. Take the wire. Slide it in here. Go for here, slide it in, and there you got a gun. This can go here. then, order to fire it. So this. Oh, I think I do actually. Oh. Back in. And two, please. Yeah, I don't think it'll be. I think it will need adjustment if I want it to be able to. No, it can just barely, barely cannot actually reach the other one. Yeah, well, it's. Latched on like that. Yeah. Oh well. It does actually show a few ways to like hold it and such over here, which is neat. So yeah. I try and do one of those. Interesting regarding this long length of text. I was watching the trailer for your popcorn mod. Ah, 
thought the corn was going to go into the furnace, not the furnace fire method, it's nothing worse than travel. When saw a corn getting thrown into the fire lit up rather fast. Yeah, I really like its popping. It's a good one. But yeah, there's a few ways it shows to like hold the weapon and I'm going to experiment with them. So, what do we got? So... Right, apparently if you hold so feels like there is something I'm yeah, it's set up. Why is it? It is just how it's holding this. Not quite. Maybe. Yeah, that looks like it actually helped it grip, yeah. This part. You hold it like that, then... Oh, that could actually work. Uh, give me a second to swap hands. There. Just because I do want to have, like, the green panels on each side. Should work, yeah. There now it is holding both sides of it, yay. Of course, balancing like that is now a nightmarish task due to the limitations of the mechanics, but That, oh, I got it standing up real nice, actually. And I can put that away. And that the manual can go in. All the screws are empty, so I'm not keeping either of them or any of them around. Don't need the sticker sheet anymore. And this kit is... Complete! Yay! Ah! Yeah, ah. Uh, this is a real nice one, yeah. It's just got some cool mechanics. It looks neat. It's uh, piloted by the one of the best characters. And yeah. Yeah, there. That's a good pose, yeah. Just like feeling like it looks like it's almost recoiling from the impact of it. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, no, this is just so cool. But yeah. With that, I'm gonna wrap things up. So how about we... Head back on over to just chatting. Right, I'm gonna put all my things along. 
including my keyboard. Ah. Oh, building kits is always just so much fun. I enjoy it a bunch. Yeah. Ah. Okay, uh, I should find someone to raid now, huh? Let's see. Yeah, I should also, um... Disable camera and such on the other screen. There. Alright, let's see who's live. Um, which... And I've got to take photos of this too, by the way. Alright, uh, anyone... Uh, yeah, a few folks. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Katon's life. I haven't gotten to raid them in a while. So yeah, we're gonna head over there. Let's do a... Thank you for the hydrate, love, as we're wrapping up. Robo building, robo raid. And we're gonna do some sims. Raid K Tan. Thank you all so very much for watching, hanging out, joining in. This has been real fun. I have enjoyed making this kit a bunch. Ah. Tomorrow I'm gonna be doing parallel play as usual. Gonna be just like fun and chill. FF14 stuff. Gonna enjoy it a bunch. Yeah. When we get over to Katon, please not forget to drop her a follow because she's really cool. And yeah, I think that'll be it. So, without further ado, how about we get this raid started in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See you soon!